What's up guys, hope you're all having a good day. And today I'm gonna to be going over how to use Jarvis's AI voice from Iron Man and implement it into your iPhone using the app Shortcuts. I'm gonna be going over two ways how to use it. Obviously there's more than one, but I'm not gonna go over all of them. So let's get right into it. For the first one, there's no button you have to click in order for the automation to work. All you're gonna to have to do is plug in your phone and it's gonna tell you your battery percentage and whether or not the cable is connected. Charging in progress. Your phone is at 15 percent, sir. Now for the second one, you do have to click a button in order for it to work. I'm not sure why Apple decided to do that, but it's still pretty cool in my opinion. Welcome back, sir. All systems are online and ready for navigation. The time is currently. 6.49 p.m. Would you like to open any apps? Spotify. Safe driving. Initiating phone charger tutorial. The first step here is to look up on Safari or whatever search engine you use and look up Make Jarvis Say Anything. It should be one of the first websites. And the website is called Routine Hub. All you have to click is Get Shortcut and it should bring you right to the Shortcuts app. And then all you have to do is press Add Shortcut. But obviously I already have it downloaded so I just cancel that. And then if you go to My Shortcuts, it should be installed right there. So the next step here is to download the Code to Base 64 app. I already have it downloaded and you can find it in the description below. So the next step then would be to go to make Jarvis say anything shortcut and type in wherever you want. Since we're doing the charger automation, we're going to do charging in progress, comma, your phone is at. Charging in progress, your phone is at. Once you're done with that, it should appear as an audio file, and all you have to do is save it to files and rename it whatever you want. I'm gonna rename it to Charging in Prague, and then it should be saved. Then you should click Encode to Base64. It should be there as a file, and in the top right, once you click on it, there should be that square and arrow sign, and all you have to do is hit Copy. The next step would be to go to the automation in the middle and hit the plus sign at the top right and scroll down to charger and then to is connected. And what you're gonna wanna do is search text first and then paste what you just copied from the encoder. And then the next thing would be to search decode and you're gonna click on the encode from the base64 and switch it over to decode and then you're going to want to search up play sound and so that should play the sound. Charging in progress, your phone is at. So the next step after you do that is to look up get battery level, that should be the green icon. And after that, you're going to want to look up round number. This will actually round the battery level that you're at to the ones place. And without that, it's just going to give you a huge decimal. And lastly, you're going to want to look up speak text, which will just speak the battery level you're at with the rounded number. Charging in progress. Your phone is at 51. Now we're going to go back to the make Jarvis say anything shortcut. And we're going to type in percent sir this time to end the automation we're making. Percent, sir. And you're gonna wanna do the same exact thing you did for the other audio file, just save as, and then go to the encoder. Once you click on the encoder, you're gonna wanna do the same exact thing that you did the first time. Hit that right upper button and click copy. And then you're gonna wanna go back to the automation we're working on and scroll all the way down and search text like we did for the first time. And then paste in that code. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is search up the encoder that we've been using and switch encode to decode to decode that text 
and then look up play sound in order to play the sound. Charging in progress. Your phone is at 50 percent, sir. The last thing you're going to want to do is go back to edit automation and you're going to want to unclick ask before running and a little screen will pop up saying don't ask. You're going to want to click on that and that's the final step. Initiating car Bluetooth tutorial. So just like the last one, you're going to want to install the Jarvis shortcut and then also the encoder. And the first step after that is to type into the Jarvis shortcut, whatever you want your phone to say as soon as it connects to the Bluetooth in your car. I'm just going to do something simple. And then the next thing you want to type in is the times currently so that we can have the automation output the current time that we're at. Welcome back, sir. All systems are online and ready for navigation. The time is currently. Now, once the file pops up, you're just gonna wanna save the files and then rename it whatever you want. I'm just gonna rename it Welcome Back for short. And then after that, and you click Done, it should be in the encoder. Once you find your audio file in the encoder, you're gonna wanna click on it. And then in the top right, there's that square and the arrow button, and you're gonna wanna click on that. And there's gonna be a tab that pops up and it's gonna be the copy button that you're gonna wanna click on. Now we're gonna go to the automation tab at the bottom and we're gonna hit the plus sign to add a new automation. And we're gonna scroll all the way down to the Bluetooth and it says to select a device. I'm gonna select my car, which is the Honda Element. And the first thing we're gonna look up is set volume. And we're gonna set it to 100% so that when we start the car, the startup sound is heard every time. Then I'm gonna look up text and then paste in that audio file we just copied from the encoder. Then I'm gonna look up the encoder and we're gonna switch encode to decode. And then lastly, we're gonna search up play sound so that we can play the sound that we just typed in using the Jarvis shortcut. And then the next thing we're gonna look up is current date so that I can output the time that we're trying to get. And then we're gonna look up set variable and we're gonna change the variable name to short. And then next you're gonna to wanna to click on the date variable. And when you click on that, it's gonna give you two formats at the bottom. There's gonna be the date format and the time format. We're gonna change the date format to none so it doesn't give us the date at all. And then the time format is gonna be short so that it's only giving us the hour and the minutes, including the AM or the PM. And then the last thing we're gonna to wanna to look up is speak text. And when you click on that, it should automatically put the short variable into the speak action. And then once you play it, it should give you the time that it is currently. Welcome back, sir. All systems are online and ready for navigation. The time is currently. 11.02 AM. The next step is to go back to the Jarvis shortcut and we're gonna type in, would you like to open any apps? And we're gonna use a speech dictator to give a reply to that answer once we put in this text. Would you like to open any apps? And then all we're gonna do is save it to files, rename it, and then just wait for it to pop up in the encoder. Once it's in the encoder, click on it, hit the share button and click copy. And then we'll go back to the automation that we're working on. And the next step is to look up the text action. And we're gonna paste in that audio file. And then we're gonna look up the encoder again and switch encode to decode and we're gonna do play sound like the other times. Welcome back, sir. All systems are online and ready for navigation. The time is currently. 11.05 AM. Would you like to open any apps? 
Now we're gonna look up dictate speech, which is basically Siri. And then we're gonna look up if, which is basically an if statement. And it's gonna automatically put dictated speech. And that condition we're gonna change to is, and we're gonna type in no as the text. So if we say no to, would you like to open any apps? We're gonna then look up dismiss Siri and continue as an action and we're gonna apply that in to the first if statement. Now we're gonna go back to the Jarvis shortcut and we're gonna type in safe driving to end the automation. Safe driving. And then we're gonna save that file and rename it. And the next step would be to open it in the encoder and copy it. Now we're gonna go back to our automation and we're gonna search up text and we're gonna put the text right underneath the dismiss Siri and continue. And we're gonna paste in that audio file and we're gonna look up the encoder again, just like every other time and then do the play sound automation. Welcome back sir, all systems are online and ready for navigation. The time is currently 11.10 a.m. Would you like to open any apps? And now that I have the if statement placed in with the dictated text, it'll understand if I say no, it'll just dismiss the Siri and continue on with the automation. Now we're going to do the otherwise statement. We're going to use open app, but instead of using app, we're going to hold down on the app variable and select a magic variable. And all you have to do is click on the dictated text where we distinguished it. And after that, you're gonna to wanna to take a text uh, action and place it in between open dictated text and end if. It is kind of hard to get it in between those two, so it might take a little while. It took me a couple tries, but eventually I got it. So then after that, I just pasted in the, dri the safe driving again and just redid what I did for the if statement. And that's it. So here's the comparison between when you say no versus when you say you want to open an app such as Spotify. Welcome back sir, all systems are online and ready for navigation. The time is currently 11.14 a.m. Would you like to open any apps? Safe driving. Welcome back sir, all systems are online and ready for navigation. The time is currently 11.14 a.m. Would you like to open any apps? Safe driving. There's only two automations I'm going to go over for now. I think Shortcuts has a great potential, but I think what's really holding it back is the fact that Bluetooth doesn't have the option to have run in the background as an actual option like it did for connecting the iPhone into a charger. But obviously I'm just scratching the surface here because I've only been looking at it for a couple of days. But uh, hopefully they can let you do some cooler stuff and they update a little more. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and peace out.